Last but not least here at Chepstow, we've got the bumper race in this uh, week three of the National Hunt season. It's the Newport County Bumper. And uh, some really good horses lining up here. We've got a needle pin for Ryan Costello, Arcadian Jim Murray, the favourite take a look for D. Hooley, the big Ian Alex Cherry, William Tell, uh, who was third in a bumper race last week and a winner of Novice Hurdles in week one, is there for my stable. Blizzard Kilroy, Dan Hughes, Bronx Bay, Paul Rhodes, Duhast looking to bounce back from uh, uh, an injury where I pulled up last time out. Farhana Landes, James Shea. Polly Puth, Ket on uh, for Graham Clutterbuck, Remix Diane, Ryan Costello, She's Electric, Derek Hinton, Tabia Save, Dan Hughes, and Thunder Queen, James Shea. And they're off and running, so She's Electric's looking to follow up on its win uh, last week in a similar type of race uh, for Derek Hinton. So interesting to see how that gets on. And all eyes will be on Duhast as well, who was really fancied to take the bumper race last week. And uh, it just looked all at sea, and something was amiss a long way out, and the horse was pulled up. But it's been able to recover from that and make its return here at Chepstow as they pass the big screen on what will be the winning post in the circuit's time. So it's two miles to go on this National Hunt flat race and again will any of these horses be the types that can turn up at Presbury Park for the Cheltenham Festival and take the champion bumper uh, or will they go back uh, over novice uh, hurdling or novice chasing remains to be seen but it's a needle pin for Ryan Costello that's already opened up a pretty big lead and is going to set a good gallop and turn this into a real test of stamina towards the end of the race for these horses so it's a uh, good good six or seven lengths I'd say already back to Polly Puth Keton uh, for Graham Clutterbuck uh, Remix Diane is racing over towards the rail with the big Ian and looking out towards the centre of the track you can see Arcadian there in Jim Murray's colours, She's Electric the pink and the black stars and uh, Duhast is just racing widest of all at the moment I'm not sure whether that's going to be to the horse's advantage as they take that tight left handed turn in uh, once they start to uh, think about heading towards the home straight so nine furlongs it is left to go a long way to go here and it's still a needle pin and you think that the gap is probably maintained at about five to six lengths but just as I say that some of the horses are starting to close up and that's the likes of take a look who was the early early betting favorite for David Hooley Bronx babes there for Paul Rhodes and Polly Puthkett on uh, for Graham Clutterbuck over towards the rail. So racing in the middle of the field, you can see the likes of Duhast. The big yin, William Tells, racing just in front of Remix Diane. And towards the rear of the field at the moment, we've got the two horses in the all blue silks of Blizzard Kilroy and Tabby is saved. So they're starting to turn left handed, and you can see that as some of the horses are pushing out wide, it's doing Duhast no favours, although the jockey's still motionless, travelling really well. Uh, but is being pushed pretty wide as they come into this home straight. It's still a needle pin in the lead, but she's electric. Last week's winner going really nicely, travelling super strong in second place. Polly Puthkett on is travelling really well as well, as is the favourite. Take a look. William Tell now bursting through. Uh, gap there in between horses and flies through up to take the lead now, William Tell. So it's William Tell that has taken up the running for Ryan Tamasebi with three furlongs left to go. She's electric now getting to work in second place. Doesn't want to let that... Uh, uh, that horse take too big a lead as we come towards the final two and a half furlongs we're into the final two furlongs now in fact so it's William Tell and She's Electric that have kicked on away from Duhast and take a look who have looked a little bit outpaced for the final furlong they're back in third and fourth but as we come to the final furlong it's She's Electric and William Tell that look to be battling this bumper race out between them and She's Electric's now gone on and has gone in front by about half a length and William Tell's desperately trying to fight back as they come towards the line she's electric looks to oh william tells come back head bobber she's electric pulled away as they approach the final furlong and as they approach the line it looked like she's electric was pulling away and then william tell just found a second wind and tried to fight back as they hit the line and william tell has been called the winner here william tell it's certainly not one by two and a half lengths. That's, that, that was either a dead heat or a short head that William Tell's got up, but it's been declared the winner for Ryan Tamasebi. She's Electric certainly didn't go down by that far. It was a really close race. Another great runner for De run for Derek Hinton's runner. Do Hast back in third, mate, laid headway. D uh, take a look. The joint favourite in the end for D. Hooley, only fourth, and Polly Puthke on. Uh, Travelled so strongly for most of the race. Uh, stayed on into fifth.